It actually scored A in my proposal and I was like, okay, I can do it. The top pick, they carry me, they go over, I don't know. Welcome back to my channel. If today is the first time you're stopping by, you are highly welcome. My name is Uche. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for sticking by. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting and asking your questions. <laughs> <laughs> thank you i do appreciate that and thank you for keeping in touch today i'm so relaxed i'm by the window <laughs> trying to get the sun as much as i can because i'm not in the uk at the moment and this place is cold and dry so i could get the sun get my body heated up i'm actually enjoying the sun so don't mind the brightness of this video it's just natural light which is nice by the way well finally i'm back Mm -hmm. I hope I'll be consistent this time around and try to put up videos every week as I used to because it's been a crazy couple of months. Well, before I start, let me call on those that are coming to study data science as Cadipment, but data science as a whole. If you don't know anything about programming language, please go and start learning. But you still have time before lecture starts for you to learn and get yourself familiar with programming languages. So please go to YouTube, start researching, do some self-study because nobody is going to teach <laughs> the basics about python everything is going to be like boom rushed before you know what's happening you're having tags assignment here and there that has to do with programming languages so if you don't want to be lost please start now and start learning okay back to the video <laughs> this last semester carry me they go where no no i was confused i was lost i was just out there not knowing what to do i don't have any words to describe how i felt in this third semester it's the toughest i've experienced since i started my masters in the uk because it's the end of the semester and it's the last like the last lap so i was like first semester was okay yeah it was tough second semester was manageable third semester wouldn't be that bad will it so i was like okay fine it won't be that hard and when they said okay fine we need to start writing our thesis put the deadline you know and that those deadlines have a way of messing with you that you now become so disoriented you become confused especially when you are stuck if you're trying to find a solution to your problem and the worst is that i chose the topic myself i thought okay this topic is something that people have done it before of course it's a research you're supposed to like go further and research about the topic i said okay it's not going to be hard it's just machine learning i can do it the second semester we did a proposal i submitted and everything was fine it was approved i said okay oh fine and actually scored a in the proposal for my thesis but when it got to the time for me to do the project i got stuck on the topic for a long time for weeks i'll just be sharing on my system what do i do use the solution use that approach use this one it keeps just turning you around upon the time i invested in it but at some point i stopped working so that i could focus on it but see i just moving on my system like this thinking of solution thinking of approach even when i was writing the methodology in my proposal it seemed easy you gather your data you process you do it sounded easy until the time for me to do it <laughs> oh my god it was a different ball game altogether but thank god for my mentor james omeke he is conversant with machine learning and things that has to do with computer vision so he was able to put me through in what i did and i'm so thankful that he did that zoom meetings even when it's inconvenient for him he was always there for me guided me through it. he sacrificed his time i just want to say thank you to him because he's been so good for those that are coming to study data science i get someone that put you through apart from your lecturers because lecturers just come to class and teach you what they have to teach you like do nobody goes down to teach you the fundamentals and the basics they expected that you should already know things the lecturer will have time to be teaching you one-on-one -on -one. so you need someone that could also put you through and to do a lot of self-study and then i think you will be good with time because even as i am like this i'm still struggling with programming and coding is a gradual process so you keep learning thank god i finished the third semester i've submitted and i'm waiting for results i don't know where i'm graduating with yet so fingers crossed i hope it turns out well when i got this admission to study data science in credit med i told myself well i don't have to pay thousands of pounds and then i don't come out with what is good I aimed for distinction actually <laughs> and first semester was okay second semester was okay but i don't know about third semester because third semester happens to be the toughest i've had i wasn't really good with the data science programming thing it's been challenging for me to be honest <laughs> so for the guys that have been asking me what is it like to study data science in cardiff Met, this is it for the period of my studies in cardiff Met, 
the only this stuff that has to do with python language there was no java or any other programming languages so i don't really feel that i got enough of what i'm supposed to use in the industry maybe i'll learn when i start the job proper but what they will teach in school will not be enough so you have to do a lot of self-study go to youtube research do so many things on your own because it's left for what you are taught in school you would still be lacking although the studies was okay but i would have preferred if we did other programming languages as well and not just python you know get yourself used to it get yourself exposed to that take it slow because everything was just like if it was rushed you have to study you have to work just so many things so I would have preferred this the other way around where you have more time start from the basics but it's not like that you have to do a lot of self-study so if you're preparing to study data science in cardiff med get yourself ready research do your own thing study online come to school do what others are doing collaborate with others learn from each other things like that that is it lectures are stopped first semester has ended i've submitted my dissertation um, I've told you guys about my experience studying data science in Cardiff Med. I don't know if there's any other thing that I'm missing out. This video is just to tell you guys that I'm done with my studies and I'm expecting my results to come out anytime soon. And then my experience in studying data science in Cardiff Metropolitan University in the UK. Thank you guys for sticking by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Goodbye.